Okay, the United States has a culture that, let's say, it's not always true, but the ideas are uh, economic and social freedom. So the idea is less corruption, more ability to uh, open a business, uh, start, change jobs, start uh, a new company. Um, the idea of a meritocracy. You will get ahead based on your abilities, not on your, your name, the name of your mother, the name of your father. It's not important. It's who you are. This is, this is the image of the United States. In some ways it's a false image, but in some ways it's true. In comparison to Colombia, um, it's much more easy to uh, for example, to be um, a poor person and to, to marry a very rich person. This is something much easier to do in the United States than, than in Colombia. Corruption in the United States, there's not as much corruption. And this, this value, this value of transparency um, and meritocracy, uh, this affects the economy greatly. Um, here in Colombia, I've heard people say, uh, what is your family's name? And then they say, and they say, what is your other family name? And this is important for your cultural status here. This would never happen in the United States. No one cares about your last name in the United States. Um, and this affects the economy because I think people, people judge you here depending on what family you come from, whether you were born with money or not. Um, in the United States, the culture is not quite so rigid when it comes to uh, status and your place in the economy. Yeah. My, hi, my name's Rob. Um, I, I guess in answer to the question about the economy, um, affecting culture in the United States. I think that the economy definitely affects the culture in the United States and I didn't realize it uh, had so much of an effect until I came to Colombia. Um, and I think the biggest example is the amount of time it takes to buy something in the grocery store. So in the United States the process of separating people from their money is like streamlined and it's it's very efficient um, we we want to make it really easy to take your money and send you on your way um, whereas here in Colombia like a lot of times if you go to the grocery store the people checking out your your food or something like that they'll look at your food maybe they'll be sitting down so that they can be relaxed and in the United States it's completely different. In the United States they don't look at your food because they don't care about you and they're just like ringing your products through, they tell you your total, they take your money, it's really efficient. Um, I remember when I lived in the United States and I had to go do something at a bank, like I had to cash a check at the bank, I was like, oh man, it's going to take me like 20 minutes to go to the bank. Whereas here you can wait in a bank line for like two hours and then they'll be like, oh, you didn't have the right form, you have to go back. So you could literally like spend two hours at, at the bank and not accomplish anything at the bank. Um, and an, another interesting thing that I've noticed that I think is connected with the emphasis on money in the economy is that when I ask people about themselves here, they tell me about their family and they tell me how many children they have, they tell me what they like to do for fun or something like that. And in the United States, the answer to that question is, starts out with your job. So if someone in the United States asks me to tell them about myself, I'll start, well, I'm an English teacher because my identity is tied to my profession as, as someone from the United States um, because 
the emphasis on, is on working and what you do is sort of tied with who you are, whereas I think in Colombia, it's the separation between work and the rest of your life is, is, is bigger. So, um, so I still, I've met a lot of people and I still have no idea what their jobs are, so I feel like I don't know who they are. Mm, yeah, so people in Colombia have a much greater separation between their personal identity and what their profession is. And in the United States, your profession is your identity. It's, t it's a lot closer to your identity. So um, if someone asks me what, like, to tell them about myself, I'll start by saying I'm an English teacher um, or I'm a, uh, I'm a mechanic or something like that because that's, that's who I am and I think that's, that's tied with um, the emphasis on, on business, on money, on the economy because um, that's sort of efficiency uh, is really, really important as specifically efficiency in, in conducting business transactions. Mm -hmm.